This is, these are plans that I drew out on a poster board for my new mini high banker I'm going to build this winter. It's two foot long, six inches wide, and it, the hopper, which I'm going to start with, is a foot tall. It's going to have a spray bar, and then it's going to have grizzly, which is just expanded metal that I'm going to have left over from the project. And once the rock all the big rocks are washed off and the little stuff goes down through the grizzly it's going to drop onto this fine gold catcher which is going to have from in my case going to have black the black v mat but you may have vortex or gold hog mat or something better than what than what i can get but i don't have none of that stuff and then once it rolls off that which it will roll the material that way the gold kind of works its way through it and break up clays just a little bit. It'll go down to the main part, which kind of drew like that to get it about two foot long. And it's going to have expand, it's going to have riffled carpet like this, which has on the riffles, it's kind of got like a two riffles on each riffle. I guess if that makes sense. And then I'm going to have expanded metal over it. But the carpet's only 18 inches long. So the rest I'm going to get one Hungarian drop riffle. And then if you've ever seen like the drill bits that are they're real long and then they kind of come out like this and have a point in the middle. I'm going to make a few of those holes because they make, they look like they'd make some pretty good drop riffles. And then the rest just falls out into the water reservoir. Or it can just not be water. Bleh. Or it can just not be circulating if you don't want it to be. But I built this yesterday. Which, it's like a little organizer thing. I cut out, I made these things that way it's like a lid at Wendy's or McDonald's. So the straw kind of goes in and it holds it. You put your water hose in there, then it hits this piece of duct tape, which flattens out and makes the water flow all even. But it had these grids in it, so I covered the inside with my purple duct tape. And I uh -oh, just dropped some water on me. Then I put, cut out a piece of carpet, my riffled carpet that I just showed you, and stuck it down the bottom. And this will catch like f further process your if you've got a lot of black sand and stuff and I stuck this thingy which is like a air vent thingamajigger that makes your car smell good when it ran out that thing because it's so small it's like nine inches long I believe you put it, it when you sit it in a pan that kind of rest makes it not rest on the pan the dirt will go back into the pan in it there you go well, and it just I don't know never mind well that's all see you next time and that's it